when I get up in the morning, my mind turns to shooting. I try to think about what kind of an effort it will take to win this day's events. I want to be sure that I have given myself at least a chance to have a successful day. The majority of shooters at the shoot have not considered the possibility that they might win. They have to put themselves at a disadvantage already. This process cannot be started too soon. Will yourself to compete. Tell yourself that you want to win. Sometimes I catch myself feeling stale. I have to remind myself that I'm here to be competitive and that I need to step up and not to embarrass myself. I will review my basics. I'll think about executing my moves properly and think about where I want to improve today. I will visualize myself shooting the various targets I will be faced with today. I will visualize myself breaking a big score. I will visualize myself picking up that trophy. You shoot singles for glory, handicap for money, and doubles for fun. So let's have some fun and shoot some doubles. Remember, when you shoot the first shot, you know where the bird's going to leave the house and you know the track where it's going to go. So this is not a single shot. You have to push the envelope and take that bird very aggressively. Boom. Now I'm going to reposition and I want you to look at where my gun position is. Watch how I, I look at the bird come up through my barrel and break that and then my eyes shift to the second target. Pull. I always try to keep my barrel as I approach the second target underneath so I have a perfect view of that target all the way to the break point. Remember you always shoot the easiest bird first. The closest thing to a straightaway. One and five, the straightaway is obvious. Two and four, it's obvious. Three, we'll talk about in a little bit. Now let's step over to post two. Now the first thing you do when you get to a new post is you mark the first bird on the first pair you see. Where it leaves the house and the track that it's going to take. The angle that you're going to have to approach the target from. Now I want to talk a little bit about how I deal with pressure. You've come to an important shoot. You're shooting well, have a good score going into the last trap. How do you bring this good score home and win all the glory, the money, the fame, and so on? How do you overcome that butterflies in your stomach feeling? That fluttery feeling is something we need to learn to deal with. When we get within striking distance of something we would really like to win, we get a conflicting set of emotions. Uppermost, we experience an excitement that we've worked so hard and that might just be at hand. Underneath, however, there's a part of us that is fearful and doesn't want to work that hard or risk the trauma of a failure. The upper mind is called the ego. This is where our higher forms of thinking reside. The subconscious mind is called the id. This is where our baser instincts reside. It takes hard work to be successful at trap shooting. It takes courage to risk failure in front of your friends. Your ego wants to win the prize, but your id doesn't want to be subjected to this stress. The easiest way to relieve this stress is to miss a few. Voila, the pressure is all gone. We have to learn the discipline it takes to give ourselves a chance to overcome our ids. When I'm walking up to my last trap with a good score going, the first thing I try to do is gain perspective. The last 25 seems more foreboding than the first 75. It seems like it's going to take hours to finish. I remind myself that in 15 minutes this will all be over, win or lose. I think I can hold together for 15 minutes at anything. Now I start to watch every target shot. This gets me focused back onto my basics. I'll try to get started with the first post, have a smooth middle the next 10, and then finish strong the last 10. You can see that I'm trying to break up the task into smaller, more manageable segments. Yet I'm always checking my processes. Cycling through my basic checklist of items I want to reinforce my execution on. Jack Nicholas wrote a book on how to deal with pressure in golf. 